All right, back with you here again. Let's take a look at these menus. If you mentioned before, I did mention that you see there are 11 menu items here, and the menu is actually formatted for 11 menu items. If you want more, you're going to need to contact us because we will need to do a little adjustment on the CSS. But I'm going to come over here and I'm going to come down to menus so I can get into the administrative interface for the menus. And I'm also going to bring up the front page in another tab. So when we look at the menus here, we're going to see a we see a bunch of little boxes, and as you'll notice, these things are are moved in right here. Now that is denoting that this is a submenu, and these are these submenus items. So you can make any menu item a submenu just by dragging and dropping items over. For instance, if I wanted request an appointment, which I don't, but if I were to want it to come under Kids Corner, I could just go like this with request an appointment just move it over like that click save menu now for it to come back to the page and wait for that to get done and refresh it now you'll see that request an appointment is gone if I come up under kids corner suddenly I get a slide out menu that says request an appointment likewise if I wanted contact us to come underneath request an appointment I could go like this and create a third level submenu. And now, when I come back, you'll notice that Contact Us is gone. I just have Kids Corner. When I come out, I get Request an Appointment. When I come under Request an Appointment, I get a third thing that comes over here that says Contact Us in a third menu. But I actually don't want that. So I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to move, first of all, if since I have a submenu connected onto this menu now, if I move this over, that submenu, if I move this over to bring it back to the top level, that submenu comes with it. Now you're going to notice something interesting here. I'm sorry, I'm at the bottom, and that's why that's acting like that. If I come over here and I try to and I try to move this over here to the primary area, it will allow me to do that. So you've got to remember that just because you have something sitting underneath a submenu, when you're operating with these menus, when you when you move when you move that over, if you move a submenu over, it will move over by itself. Now the top level menu, if I move it over, it will take everything with it. It will take all of its submenus with it. But submenus can be pulled out from the top level menu and put back on any level that you want. So just remember that the top level will take them with you, but if you go into the lower levels, they will be able to be moved independently. So I'm going to come back over here and refresh, and now we'll see that we have our menu back, just like it was before. And that now, to add an item to the menu itself, for instance, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to take and I'm going to put contact us under request an appointment. Save that real quick so that I I have a spot I can use now. And now I'm going to come over and I decide okay I'm going to add a page. Okay, let's say I'm going to come over here. Now this is where you see pages. First of all, you're going to see the most recent pages. Then you're going to have a selection which is going to allow you to view all the pages you have in your system. And then another one that's going to allow you to actually search for pages. But I don't want to search actually. What I want to do is I just want to show you how to add a page. It's the simplest way to add a page. So I'm going to click view all so I can view all the pages. Let's say down here at the very end um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I want our privacy policy to show up at the very end. So I'm just going to select that and I'm going to click add to menu. Now when I come down, you're going to see now I have privacy policy added to this menu. And I can move it up here, do whatever I want with it, okay? But I don't need to do that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it right there. I'm going to click Save Menu. And now when I come over and I refresh the page, you'll see that now I have privacy policy with contact us under Request an Appointment. Now, if I don't want this item anymore, unlike the widgets, the widgets, if you don't want an item, you can just take and you can just pull that off of there and just let it go. That doesn't quite work with these. Okay, these are still here. You can't just pull a widget and make it disappear. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. You've actually got to come down here and you have to click remove. And I'm glad that we opened this up because each one of these menus, you click on these, you get this little shortcut menu. And in this shortcut menu, you get a title attribute, which is not necessary. Then you get a navigation label. Now let's say this is privacy policy, but I don't want it named privacy policy. I just want it to be named privacy. I can just click privacy, click save. Back over to the front page, and now when I refresh, I'm just going to get privacy. But, oh, 
Oh, I don't have privacy. Oh, I'm sorry. It's gone. Oh, it's gone under there. I moved it over and made it a submenu. I'm going to take it back and save it. There we go. So I'm going to come back over, refresh our page now, and come back down. And here you see we have privacy. But if I click on it, it goes to the same place. It goes to our privacy policy. Okay. But it's now labeled privacy because that's what I wanted it to be labeled. So you can label these anything you want. Have them go to a particular page and then name them anything that you want. And nobody will know any difference. They'll just go to that page. So I'm going to remove this just by clicking remove. I'm going to take the contact us and put it back over where it needs to be. Click save menu. Come back over. Refresh our page. And now you see we have our menu back to the way it was before. So that is how you add things to the menu and you can rearrange these things in any way shape you want. I could take Meet Dr. Nelson and put him down there and take our staff and put him down there but I don't want to do either one of that. I meet Dr. Nelson there. I want our staff there like it was before. And remember after you make changes you need to come down and you need to click Save Menu. If you don't click Save Menu then when you go away from this page those changes changes will, will not be saved. Those changes will just get lost. They, they won't get saved as a draft like it does with pages or anything. They will just simply get lost. So you come back in about as you see we have our order just like we had before. So, and that is how you alter and rearrange menus.